Welcome to Huckleberry Bastion. Well, as you can see, the knife project is complete. And I've received the knife and the sheath that was made for it. And today we're just going to talk about the sheath because I'm going to do some future videos on the knife after we've had some field time with it. And these are really my least favorite type of videos to do. I really prefer to do uh, outside videos. But uh, we're just going to focus on the sheath today and take a look at it and uh, tell you my thoughts. After the knife was done, uh, I had it sent to a uh, leather worker and his name is Eric Fisher and you can uh, find him online. Uh, I'll leave his information below. Uh, definitely check out his Instagram because he posts a lot of nice uh, pictures of his work. But uh, he helped me put this uh, sheet together. I sent him uh, just some basic specs on what I wanted and uh, he did the rest. And I gotta say, I'm quite happy with it. Let's do a quick overview of the stats. It's seven and a half inches long and about three and a half inches wide. And with the pocket, it's about two and a half inches thick, roughly. Uh, with the knife and everything fully loaded, it's roughly around two pounds, which is quite a bit of weight, but you're getting a lot of knife and a lot of utility with it. So uh, I don't mind so much. The thickness of the leather itself is one eighth of an inch and that's for these areas you can see here the retention strap all the strapping here uh, the pouch that's all one eighth of an inch thick so it's going to be pretty rugged the color i went with and i think it's showing up a little darker in this video but it is crazy horse brown so if you decide to order anything and you like this color uh, that's what you tell Eric. You're looking for uh, crazy horse brown. Initially, I wanted uh, dark hardware for the uh, snaps and fasteners, but uh, it was going to take a bit to uh, locate that, and I was really anxious to try to get it because I've been waiting a few weeks uh, for the knife and everything to get made. So I opted just to go with the nickel. What I wanted initially was a scout style sheath that you would wear on your back and it would be for a right hand draw but what Eric did is he used these screws which I believe are called uh, Chicago screws it's uh, kind of a crazy name that sounds like something uh, a gangster would do to you but uh, what they allow is you can actually take these out and I'll show you a close up here of what they look like but you can uh, take them out and you can reconfigure the entire sheath so that you can have it uh, left hand draw from uh, the back so scout style or you can left hand draw it from the side and uh, I think that adds a lot of versatility to it uh, if my son uh, inherits this one day uh, he's left handed so he'll be able to switch it around and how that works is you just unsnap and you can see there on the back here there's a screw here and here that you can remove the straps and uh, the pouch and then you do the same here for the uh, rich into excuse me you do the same here for the retention strap you just unscrew that flip it around put it on the other side and you're good to go one thing I wanted to add it with these little uh, metal loops here to the straps and this is just something I came up with uh, when I was uh, sketching it out. And I thought it'd be a nice idea just to give you another way. Like if you wanted to hang it up, you could just clip it in and just hang it like this. Or as you can see how I have it, have some uh, paracord just uh, put between the two loops. But they completely come off, so you can take those off if you don't like them or if they're getting in the way. I just thought that was a, a different feature to add, something I hadn't quite seen before. I went with something a little different uh, for the fasteners, for the uh, pouch, and for the retention strap. And I used these instead of the snaps. And my thoughts were just, uh, you know, to make it a little more quiet when you're putting it away. And if you have to silently draw the knife, I'm not sure, maybe I get attacked by ninjas or something in the woods. But I just thought that was... Uh, the way to go for now just to be a little different we're going to see how well they wear i mean for the pocket you're not going to really be opening this 
I have a little survival tin in there. This is kind of your emergency backup tin. And that's why I wanted a pocket on here. Mostly it's for if you lost your pack and you've got nothing on you but your, uh, your knife and your sheath, then in here is going to be the absolute essentials to get a fire started and uh, things like that. And I'm not going to be opening that very often. So it's not something I'm going to be going to every day. So the wear, probably not going to be an issue there. It may be an issue here with the retention strap, but that is something that can be easily replaced because, again, it has that screw. You can take that out, take it off, and just uh, cut yourself a new one or uh, have somebody with some skills make one for you. Now let's uh, take a closer look at the uh, retention strap. For the retention strap, what we've done is something that I've seen on a few other uh, sheath designs. And what it is, is it's just a little piece of uh, bungee cord uh, through a couple holes and uh, just with a little knot there. So if anything happens, it's uh, going to be easy to replace. And what it does is when you unclip it, it just pulls your retention strap out of the way so you're not cutting it with the blade or you have less chance of doing that. It's just, it's out of the way when you're drawing your knife. And I kind of like that feature. I've seen it on uh, all kinds of different designs online. Now, one thing I had in my design that I sent, but I didn't really make too much of a note of it, is I had some extra stitching in this area here, just to give it a bit more texture. And that's, if I do something in the future, I'll probably point that out that uh, if you put a little bit of texturing in there, just, I don't know, some stitches or something, then you've really got something to grip on a bit. You can kind of feel it with your uh, fingers just when you're taking the uh, retention strap off. Just something to maybe grip there on the leather. And since you're reaching behind your back, then uh, you get that texture. You can feel it. You know you're in the right spot. Not a big deal, but just something I might add in the future. Along the bottom of the sheet, we have a loop for a ferro rod, and uh, the diameter of the loop should hold a ferro rod that's like three, uh, three eighths of an inch. Uh, I think I have a quarter of an inch rod in there right now, so anywhere from there down, you can uh, fit a rod in there, and I've just got it held in with a bit of uh, bungee cord. Now the pouch itself has the Huckleberry Bastion logo on it right there and you just open it up and it's sized to fit a standard Altoids tin and it has this little uh, strap inside to help you uh, remove it which was Eric's idea I hadn't thought about that when I sent them the design but that was really really good thinking and there's a little bit of resistance but it does pop right out You can see, just close it back up. As they say, uh, no matter how great your knife is, if you don't have a sheath that you like, you're probably not going to wear that knife. Well, that's not a problem here. I'm really happy with the sheath. Uh, Eric did a great job uh, following kind of my uh, guideline for it. And I just want to wear it all the time. Unfortunately, I can't. But uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting in the woods and... Uh, trying the knife and the sheath and everything out. If you want to check out Eric's work, as I said, definitely uh, check out his Instagram and the uh, information below. Uh, he can make you a custom sheath or uh, just many different things. He, uh, anything made in leather, he can probably do it for you, so definitely check him out. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, taking a look at the sheath. Uh, whatever comments you have, please leave, leave them below. I'll try to get them answered. And also, uh, Check us out, uh, Huckleberry Bastion, on Instagram. I usually do uh, photos now and then of what's going on, just uh, kind of behind the scenes or just whatever projects I have in mind. So check us out there, and uh, we'll see you next time here on Huckleberry Bastion.